We are going to show you uh, again a weighing and a health checkup of seals in our third phase pools. Uh, these seals hopefully are growing now again good and they can be released next week. Um, as you might have uh, heard about it uh, or become aware about it, we have uh, a virus infection going around in the center amongst our seals unfortunately. Uh, and today I'm going to explain to you a little bit about what this means, what kind of virus it is. Uh, and you submitted us a lot of questions in the live <laughs> chat. Uh, so I uh, collected some answers or made some answers for them. So I hope uh, I can answer uh, your burning questions about this situation. So first a little bit of an uh, overview. Uh, so the situation is that we have a herpes virus infection. This is not the herpes virus that humans can have. It is very closely related to uh, cat and dog herpes virus. So for humans, this virus causes either um, sores on your mouth or uh, genital uh, issues. This is completely different with seals. Uh, with seals, they uh, have uh, uh, upper respiratory, like a nose, lung infection with this virus. Um, this uh, is very often uh, carried by these animals without any symptoms mostly by adult animals because they are strong and they have a strong immune system. Uh, the same as we can carry the, the herpes on our mouths and it only comes out when we are feeling a bit sick or weak or our, our immune system gets a bit weaker. And mostly young animals, uh, puppies, uh, animals that are younger than one year of age are at risk of actually developing um, uh, a disease from this, uh, from this infection. So the way it probably got here is that uh, one of our seals had uh, an asymptomatic so without any symptoms uh, uh, infection that it was carrying this virus they can get it from their mothers when they are born already uh, and then uh, here in rehab it often happens that uh, due to uh, them being a bit weaker and due to them being exposed to stress uh, unfortunately rehab is stressful um, uh, this infection uh, can uh, flare up and then when they have an active infection the virus starts shedding going out of their body with their coughs with their mucus with their sneezes and then it can spread to other seals very quickly um, now we have unfortunately this virus on, in almost all of our uh, units uh, it's almost like a virus pandemic uh, luckily uh, it seems to be uh, a lighter version of this virus because our seals are not getting super sick. There are some animals that are losing a bit of weight and coughing a bit more, but no, none of them have gotten really sick so far, which is great because they can get very sick from this virus. So at this point, we just try to um, monitor the animals. If some of them get very sick, then we take them out of the big pools and put them in a uh, individual unit so that they can get medication for their symptoms and also we can minimize uh, the spreading of the virus as much as possible. Um, then a little bit more about this virus. So this is, as I said, herpes virus. There are two main types and there are many subtypes of this virus. So that's why I say that probably is one of the lighter types that we have currently, which is great. Um, the, there is type one and type two, and the type one is the one that causes more heavy infections and type two is a lighter infection. Uh, there is also another seal species, the grey seal in the Netherlands. We don't have any of them at the moment, but they uh, are most often the carriers and they bring the, seal, the disease to the, to the harbor seals. And the harbor seals are a bit weaker and they can get infected more easily. So yeah, I think this is a, sh a short summary and then I will answer your questions now. So somebody asked, how many viruses are currently in the center? So this is the one virus, the herpes virus. It is possible that we have uh, different subtypes at the same time, but this is very hard to prove. Uh, so I, don't, I cannot answer this uh, question very precisely, but it is all the same virus. Have you been found uh, infected? Uh, never, you found infections in two swimming pools. What is the status of the infection in other pools? So uh, we actually have found infections in not just two swimming pools, we have it now basically in all of the pools except for the first phase units inside where Blueberry is, for example. We don't have herpes there yet and we are really trying to keep it that way. Uh, have herpes outbreaks been common at this facility? Yes, it is common. Um, we always have every season, we have uh, one or two animals at least. Um, 
such a big outbreak that it spreads to all of the animals is relatively uncommon. What we normally have is that we have a couple of animals in several different units, mostly in the first phase units that, uh, that get uh, this sickness. Uh, in the past, it used to be very common because uh, in the past we had much less uh, strict protocols of how to avoid stress, how to um, minimize the contact between the animals. Uh, now that we uh, have mo a lot more better uh, yeah, uh, protocols against stress and cleanliness, the uh, times that it comes uh, uh, forward uh, or occurs and the spreading is much, much less. Um, is it possible that herpes virus is spreading to other seals in, at Hofbad? Uh, yes, it already has spread to seals in Hofbad, so that uh, is possible and it has happened. Is herpes virus a seasonal uh, disease uh, or you, can you get it all year round? It is possible to get uh, all year round. Um, it's a bit more common in the winter months because in the winter uh, the weather is worse of course and the seals are able to get less food so they usually get even weaker uh, and the weaker the animals the higher the chance that they can get the disease. Um, is it difficult to completely prevent, prevent the herpes in this facility? Uh, yes, it is very difficult. As I said, um, uh, with different measures that we are doing, we try to prevent it as much as possible. Uh, so we are trying to prevent overcrowding. We have a limit of how many seals can be maximum in different units. Um, we are trying to prevent exposure to stress. And uh, we have also biosecurity measures uh, to prevent spreading. So we change, we take showers, uh, we... Uh, uh, have a strict order of how we ac uh, access different units uh, to prevent uh, spreading of uh, not just this virus but all kinds of uh, infectious uh, uh, pathogens. Um, but yes, even uh, with these measures it occurs. Um, and as I said just before, in the past it occurred much more because we didn't have these measures. What are the long-term effects of herpes on seals that uh, survive the infection? Um, if the seals survive the infection, we don't have, we don't know of any uh, common long-term effects. It's not like long COVID or anything like that, fortunately. Um, the only thing is that if they survive it, then they will be immune to that variant of the virus for a while. So they can get, cannot get it again for a while. So that's nice. Otherwise, there is no long-term effect uh, if they survive. Uh, is herpes virus life-threatening? Can this cause death? Uh, yes, in certain cases it can. Uh, if the animal is younger and weaker, it has a higher chance and it also depends on how uh, infectious and what kind of type of the virus act it actually is. But yes, we often have uh, mortalities, unfortunately, and currently, luckily, we, we, the seals are, seem to be doing just fine with a light infection, so that's great. Um, is the herpes virus that is occurring this time a normal type of bacteria? Or since this is an outdoor pool, could it have been something that got from the outside, like wild animals or flying debris? So this is not a bacterium, it is a virus. Uh, it is normal and seals can often carry this virus without symptoms, as I said, and young animals uh, are more prone to getting sick from it. Um, it probably didn't get here from the outside because this virus is not very stable in the environment so it will not survive very long uh, on, uh, uh, on surfaces in the environment. It has to be carried by animals. Uh, can herpes be transmitted in water? Theoretically, yes. Uh, we have our water cleaning system which it should prevent uh, uh, the spreading and in the water it has to be a very high concentration of the virus so it's a very low chance that it can actually spread with, through the virus, water system. Between seals in the same pool, yes, the water can carry it a bit, but it's a very low chance that from one pool it can go to a different pool with the water. Uh, like herpes in humans, is there a risk of reoccurrence once the seal is infected with herpes? Um, they can, it, uh, there is a chance of reoccurrence, but as I said, they get some immunity, so not for a while. After a couple of years, it is possible, but by that time, they will be also more older adults. So then, because they are stronger in general, uh, they normally don't get it anymore. Um, are the herpes viruses that infect seals and those that infect humans the same? No, they are the same family, but they are different viruses. Are there any environmental factors that contribute to the outbreak of seal herpes? Uh, 
if the environment makes the seals weaker, then it could contribute, uh, like for example, bad weather or pollution. Uh, symptoms. What is the difference between herpes and the cold? Uh, I think the seals may have also have fever, but how many degrees is the, the normal temperature? Uh, seals can get a fever, uh, they can get uh, upper airway irritation, uh, they usually cough, they often have uh, uh, cough up a lot of mucus, they often have bleeding in their nose, uh, so they sneeze uh, uh, a little bit of blood. Um, they can also have, in worst cases, uh, a lung infection, uh, like pneumonia, uh, and it can also cause them vomiting, diarrhea, and uh, sometimes liver, liver damage as well in very bad cases. Uh, the normal temperature is between 36 and 38. If it goes above 38, then they have a fever. Can seals develop rashes around the eyes and mouth caused by the herpes virus like humans? No, that's uh, so not something that happens with the seal herpes virus. Can we assume that the symptoms are the same as those of herpes in humans? No, the same answer. Is there a herpes vaccine uh, available? So in the past, we, there was a, a trial of developing vaccinations against herpes, uh, but unfortunately didn't prove to be sufficient, uh, it didn't give a good enough protection. Uh, so um, we decided to stop it uh, because it seemed like uh, the preventative measures that we do in the center uh, that I uh, told you about earlier is actually working more than what the vaccine did. Um, do vets use the same drugs on sick seals uh, that human doctors prescribe for humans? Um, it depends on their symptoms. Uh, we give them a, a kind of a vitamin su supplement, it's called lysine. Uh, this is an amino acid that is supposed to uh, decrease the virus replication, to like stop the virus to multiply in the body of the seal. Uh, and next to this, we give them uh, all kinds of vitamins to support their immune system. And then uh, we give them medicines for the symptoms that they have. So if they have fever, we, have, we give them medicines against fever. If they uh, have uh, a lot of mucus, then we give them medicines to help uh, them cough that out. Um, if they have a lot of inflammation, they get anti-inflammatory medication, um, these kind of things. Uh, we also sometimes give antibiotics. If uh, they have a lot of mucus, then it, because, it is because of uh, bacteria that grow because the airways are weak, then we also give antibiotics. Uh, are all seals expected to make full recovery? In most cases, yes. Uh, currently, seals don't seem to have uh, a very bad disease, as I said. So it is most likely that all of them will recover, but it's not 100% sure, of course. Um, do you use glutathione to eliminate the viruses? No, that's not a medicine that we use with seals. How long does it take to cure the herpes? It depends on how badly the seal is infected uh, and how strong the immune system of the animal is uh, and whether it develops secondary bacterial infection or not. But usually it takes two to four weeks. How contagious is the virus? Can you get infected by being in the same pool? It is highly contagious. Uh, humans cannot get infected, but animals can get infected by being in the same pool very easily. And humans can also carry the virus on their clothing, on their hands, uh, between pools. So we have to be very careful about that. Okay, there is a few more. Is there any risk of uh, virus infection from birds, such as seagulls? No, seagulls don't carry this virus long term because the virus as I said, is not very stable in the environment. Uh, the only way it could happen if there is a seagull in one pool and a seal sneezes on the sea seagull, and then the seagull directly flies to the other pool and then it has the seal sneeze on the, its body, then yes, but that's a low chance because, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> it doesn't happen very often. Uh, what health conditions makes the seals more susceptible to herpes? Age, stress exposure, and other infections. Can herpes be constructed in the wild? Is it a threat to seals? Theoretically it can, but usually in the wild it doesn't cause a clinical infection because in the wild the seals don't, are not exposed to uh, that much stress. It's mostly the stress that is causing the immune system to get weak enough for the virus to become active. What is the source of the infection? Yeah, a seal, one of our seals or many of our seals were carrying this virus from their mothers and uh, um, they uh, brought it into the center. Does the herpes virus have an incubation period? 
Uh, yes, it has. Uh, um, I cannot tell you the precise number, but it has a few days of incubation period. Okay, two more questions. <laughs> is herpes common in the wild? Uh, yes, it's common. Uh, a high amount of seals carry this. Uh, I don't want to give you wrong numbers, but I think uh, more than 50% for sure seals will carry this in their bodies without symptoms. Is there a possibility that the children who are released this weekend may be infected with herpes? I am worried that they may also develop symptoms at the beach after releasing, as they will not be able to receive treatment. So, um, the seals that we are releasing this weekend, um, they are, um, we only release them if they seem stable, if they have been growing and if they are not showing any current symptoms. Um, there is a chance that they carry the virus, but they have been, the virus has been going around so long that all seals have been exposed to it for a while. So the seals that are without symptoms and have been going, growing steadily, we don't expect them to get uh, a bad infection anymore. And in the wild, the, all the stress factors will stop, so it will be much less likely that the virus can, uh, can activate in their bodies anymore. So uh, I can say to you with uh, quite a bit, bit of certainty that uh, I don't think that they can uh, have the virus uh, cause any problems to them in the wild. So that's all the questions that you submitted. Thank you very much. I hope it was informative. And now uh, you can look at some seals <laughs> and, uh, taking some samples from them. Thank you for all the answers. There were a lot of questions, so yeah. I think they're answered quite well. <laughs> yeah, so thanks. You can change. <laughs>